Hello everyone. Welcome to session 29 of security testing video series. In this session, we are going to continue with the basics of security testing, where I am going to explain the difference between authentication and authorization. So let's get started. So what is authentication? What is authentication? And what is authorization? And what is the difference between this authentication and authorization? Let me explain. First, coming to the authentication, guys. Authentication is all about user identity. Okay. Authentication is all about user identity. That means identification of the user, guys. Let me give a some real world example. Let's say there is a company or office, and uh, there is one employee, guys. Okay. There are a lot of employees for this uh, company. And let's take an example of a single employee. So this employee reaches this office every day. And at the entrance of this office, this employee will use his ID card. Okay. At the entrance of this office, this particular employee uses his ID card, swipes his ID card, and uh, authenticates himself. And then only he will be allowed to enter into the office. Right. This is called as authentication, guys. This employee has to authenticate himself. That means this company has to identify this employee using his ID card. Then only this employee will be allowed into the office. Let's say tomorrow some XYZ person comes and this person is not part of this company or office. So this person also try to, okay, this person also tries to enter into this office, but he doesn't have any proper ID card or something to swipe at the entrance of the office so that he'll be allowed to enter into the office. So when this person comes, what happens guys? He will not be authenticated. He cannot be identified guys. This person cannot be identified, okay? will not be authenticated whereas this employee will be authenticated to enter into the office so this this is known as authentication guys if i have to take a proper example here okay so proper example related to the web applications that we generally use let's take an example of a school website okay let's say there is a school website guys there is a school website now into this school website let's say there is a teacher okay and also there is a student so in this, uh, uh, there is a school website and uh, there is a teacher and there is a student. For this teacher and student, uh, there are some proper email address and password provided for logging into this website. Okay, in order to log into this website, this teacher and student are provided with va some valid credentials, guys. So when teacher want to log in into the school website, the teacher will enter his or hers username and password valid username and password they will enter right and click on the login button and uh, if they are properly authenticated right if they have provided the valid credentials and clicked on the login right they will be authenticated teacher will be authenticated okay teacher will be auth authenticated to log into the application similarly student also same thing guys if the student uh, tries to log into this school website with proper username and password okay then student also will be authenticated student also will be authenticated Let's say there is some other person coming and trying to log into this application, but he doesn't have any proper or valid credentials like username and password he doesn't have. Okay. So what happens guys when this particular person tries to log in without providing that proper uh, username and password, right? This person who doesn't have the valid credentials, okay, will not be identified and hence will hence he will not be authenticated guys. This person who doesn't have the valid credentials will not be authenticated. Only the teacher and student who have the proper credentials will be authenticated guys to log in to this website. So hope you got some idea what is uh, authentication. Now let's go with the authorization. So authorization is all about checking whether, okay, is all about checking whether the user has necessary permissions Okay, whether the user has necessary permissions to access a resource. Okay, access a resource. Let me explain what does it mean with these examples. Again, let's take the same example of the office guys. And as I already mentioned, one employee was there. Uh, he, he goes to this office every day and uh, he authenticates. Okay, at the entrance of the office, he uses his ID card to authenticate himself and try to enter into the office and he will be allowed to enter into the office. 
yeah fine he is allowed to enter into the office but at this office guys at this office at one or one of the corner there is a server room okay let's say this is a let's say this is a server room guys so so uh, not all the employees of this company will be allowed to enter into this server room right all the employees can enter into the office they can be authenticated and entered into the office but not all employees not all employees can enter into this server room because this employee may not have the permissions necessary permissions to access this particular server room okay so this employee is not authorized in this case this employee is not authorized to access this server room okay so this is what guys this is what is called as authorization this is what is called as authentication okay so now i'll give an, another example uh, this kind of school website uh, example uh, as part of this authorization now so here authentication is all about logging in with the valid credentials okay so teacher and students uh, can authenticate themselves with uh, by providing the valid credentials to log into the website now the same website is there the same website is there the school website now at this school website after this teacher and student has logged in or whatever it is okay the teacher is authorized okay this particular teacher this particular teacher is authorized to create an exam okay this teacher can design or create okay design or create an online exam for students teacher will be authorized but coming to the student guys okay even though this particular student is even though this particular student is authenticated to log into this website but still this student will not be able to okay this still still this particular student will not be able to design or create an online exam only teacher will have the permissions okay only the teacher will have the necessary permissions to access a resource in this case a resource is nothing but designing or creating an online exam for the students but students should not be okay students should not be able to design or create an online exam even though they log in right so students are not authorized here students are not authorized whereas teacher should be authorized to 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 do such kind of stuff okay students should be authorized teacher should be authorized to create an uh, online exam whereas students should not be authorized to create such kind of online exam so hope guys you got some idea like what is authentication now authentication is all about identifying the user guys that's it okay if the user provides valid email address and password to log into the application that is called as authentication but once uh, this users are okay some roles uh, log into the application right they may not be able to do everything okay so coming to the teacher teacher can create an online exam teacher is authorized to create an online online exam where a student even though the student logs in he or she will not be able to create an online exam because student is not authorized to do such action student doesn't have that necessary permissions to create such kind of resource in the website so that's it about the difference between the authentication and uh, authorization guys thank you bye